Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and for those cross-watching as well, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. So today we're going to be taking a look at whether you should stay with them, or what happens, you know, should you stay with them, what kind of future you might have with this particular romantic energy that you may be currently um, romantically linked to. Um, so we'll be using two decks, the Angel and the Oracle cards, and hopefully they may give us some guidance here, which you might need here. Or at least some advice here, some predictions into your current and your future romantic connection with this uh, um, person and their energy. Of course, these readings are general, so please just you know be aware of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle, and um, we'll see here what the cards are predicting for you and your current romantic energy for the future here so should you stay with this person or what type of a relationship can you expect with this person um, in the future commitment okay we've got the five of wands okay within the next few weeks for what I see in the future, for those of you that have been experiencing a lot of tension, um, conflict, or a lot of friction, rather, with your romantic energy, um, it's very likely that I'm seeing a possible resolution here within the next few weeks. I'm also seeing that for those of you that do have like an existing friction or existing tension, um, there may be a possibility that this is going to bubble up to the surface and expect some sort of... Um, maybe a resolution, but maybe not so much a peaceful one at that. So expect some sort of like um, disagreement or an argument or like an eruption of emotions here. It could even be like an, a future upcoming fight. However, I want to pinpoint that there is going to be an opportunity to sort of clear the air with your current romantic energy. Okay, so if you stay and if the two of you do decide to work through and resolve this, there is an opportunity to hopefully make um, hopefully find a peace here within a conflict okay um, let's see what else okay three of swords here this is someone who has broken your heart here um, for others of you I feel like this is a romantic energy who is currently okay um, is currently involved to someone else or is currently committed to someone else for those of you who are aware that you're in a bit of a lover's triangle or for those of you who are aware that you're dealing with a romantic energy who's still maybe hung up on an ex okay or maybe they're not necessarily hung up on the ex maybe they're just hung up on the lingering per like the lingering hurt pain um, or lingering residues of emotions that s they still feel many years on or months on or quite some time on from the ex um, the cards here are telling you to wait okay so maybe be a little bit more patient with this person their energy and be a little bit patient with yourself as well because I feel like the cards here are indicating that you know this person needs some time they need some time to heal um, a hurt a broken heart they need some time to get over their ex okay unfortunately there's no switch you know there's no on and off switch that you can just flick and your emotions are sort of just resolved. Um, it could also indicate that you yourself need a little bit, little bit of time. So before you actually go and plunge into the depths of a relationship with this individual, maybe give each other time to get to know one another. Give each other time to sort of get over, or give, give and give yourself time here. Water energies to get over any uh, past heartbreaks or any hurt, resentment or angers that you might still be holding on to from previous relationships because what's going to happen is that's going to come up, that's going to surface up in any future relationships including this one that you're having or that you're currently involved with. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Okay, there is a possibility for a new beginning with someone or with this person here. Um, the situation will improve. So there we go. The cards are predicting that for those of you that are in a bit of a tumultuous relationship, okay, no relationships are easy. Um, it just it depends on the degree or the extent, right? But for those of you that are in a tumultuous relationship, one that is challenging you or one that is really pushing you outside of your comfort zone here, it could be that the reason why it's so tough or you're doing it so tough is because you're currently involved with the twin flame. Okay, so there could be the fact that it's very challenging and the fact that the two of you sort of are finding it really hard 
to make it work could be signs or, um, that indicate a twin flame connection but i'm seeing that the situation will improve okay so um things will get better in the future okay and for those of you that are experiencing some sort of setbacks challenges or um, any delays around this connection know that i feel like they're there for a purpose i know that the future he has something better in store for you so things are going to get better just because they're being a little bit difficult or a little bit challenging now doesn't mean that they won't get better because they will things are going to get a lot better in the future there will be peace where there was conflict there will be you know uh, an equilibrium where there, where there was a lack of and there will be new beginnings where there might have been endings Okay, Ten of Cups here. So it's very likely that after all that storm that you're going through here, you might very well get that storybook romance that you crave and that you desire. He water energies here. Ask your angels, okay? Um, so there you go, the Ten of Cups here. Okay, you're big on your intuition. You're very big on, um, you know, your feelings, your intuition, he water energy. So you need to ask your ask yourself okay ask yourself your intuition to guide you ask your spirit guides ask your angels here um whether you know you are being guided on the right path whether you are being guided you know into the arms of you know your your person here and whether the two of you are ultimately meant to be together or if ultimately this is meant to you know withstand any conflicts storms or turmoils and if it's meant to go the distance and endure those so your angels, if you feel like you don't have the answers, guys, that's okay, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself, because I feel like your angels do, okay? Your angels do, and I feel like if you reach out and try and connect with your angels, they can give you signs. They can send you signs, synchronicities. They can also try and communicate to you in dreams or through symbols, like if you keep seeing, like, feathers everywhere or if you keep seeing like rainbows or dandelions especially if there is some sort of link or a connection to those things for you here okay the five of swords again i get that there is a lot of conflict in this connection here and i guess which sort of makes sense that you're asking the cards or you're asking yourself whether or not there's a future in this so i get it i get why you pose this question remain positive there you go um look things are not comfortable okay things are probably there could be so much better between you and your romantic energy okay you're not certain you're not sure about you know where this is going there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of friction in your energies i get that there's definitely um a lack of equilibrium or a lack of balance here things are going to get better you know it's very easy to have a you to keep faith and to be positive when things are going well okay it's probably the easiest thing to do What's challenging is to is to stay hopeful and to stay positive, you know, when you're in a room full of darkness, okay? You have to seek the light. You have to sort of seek out your truth as well. You have to remain positive with the Five of Swords. Okay, some of you, 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 you and this person, you're not together. You're not in the relationship that you pictured um, that you would be. And it's not happening for you right now, but it will happen for you in the future. And I do feel like this person here, the reason why they've come into your life is, yeah, to shake up your world a little bit. But I feel like there's so much lessons from this connection, guys. And there's so much healing that this person is going to help you with. And I feel like there's a lot that you can give for this person as well. There's a lot of healing energies, water signs, that you can give to this person. And there's a lot of lessons that your love and your... Um, kind gentle nature can teach them so remain positive okay remain positive that everything here will work out that your angels here are guiding you okay that you're currently being guided here in your path okay remain positive that you do deserve the best and you will get the best you will get that storybook romance that you crave but to get that rainbow you need to first withdraw your storm so i get it you're going through through the storm but you will get that rainbow, okay? It'll stop raining, it'll, you know, the storm will cease and you will get that rainbow here, um, that happily, happily ever after that you want, but more importantly, that you will deserve. So, you know, should you stay? Yes, I feel like you should stay and you should fight her because at the end of the day, especially for those of you um, that are intuitively, you intuitively feel that, you know, this connection is not over yet. It's still worth fighting for. Okay, guys, these are your messages. So thank you for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. 
I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.